hello welcome so in this video i am going to create another app driven orchestration integration in which i will take one request one parameter from user while running and i will use that parameter value in our integration so let's first create that integration so just click on this create so earlier i have given the integration name hello print as integration 01 so i will give app driven i will select app driven select hello print app driven integration with parameter 02 okay so i will assign the package as yc dot z app driven edit just click on this create so after creating the integration first we need to add the endpoint okay so first i will select the horizontal I will add the endpoint as a rest. I really I have created for rest trigger zero one so that it can initiate the integration, right? So let me give the name a start rest. Okay, click next. Here we have to configure the input payload, right? So here I will first I will select the request suppose print hello, and here I will select get because I am not going to take a response I am just going to take a parameter so parameter and response both are different right so if you want to get the parameter then we need to use post post but I don't want to get the parameter eh, sorry if you want to get the response request from user while running then we select post but I don't want to get a request from user right so I will select get and here we have option to add parameter so just tick here so once you will take here it will enable you here in parameter section right so just click next so here you can see that parameter is added over here right so just click on this plus icon and add the parameter name so i will select p underscore name and the type will be a string okay so user will enter one parameter their name and i will use over at the type type will be a string so just click next and sum summary you can see that in summary we don't have anything just done so this will added a start and end point over here so between this start and this mapping we need to use all these things so i will use mapper logger so that i can show the value user given so logger one click so here i will select always click here and now i have to show the message right i have to show the value whatever user have selected so here in right left side you can see that this is the query parameter section so whatever query parameter user have selected you can see all this parameter over here so right now we have only one query parameter that is p name so it is reflecting over here so here i will use hi and the username so how we can use username over here so we use we will use concrete function okay so do one thing just let me use only hi in this log sorry double quotes i will show you how you can use concurrent function also but for initiating in a starting let's go slowly slowly okay so here we have added hi close we will use another logger to print the name so here logger to create always i will here drag the name so here you can click on this and you can drag so here we will drag this parameter over here so once validate so dragging it means that this value will be reflected over here right instead of that particular name so just close and again validate and now so here we have added hi plus username now we'll add another message right so logger 3 okay always and we'll use the message hi name and this each my second integration with one parameter value just click on validate integration with one parameter value okay close so here you can see that it will so that hi user this is my first second uh, whatever log message we have given right so now if we don't want to use this three logger and we use the concatenated value right so here if you will see here 
so here we will use another logger logger 4 and in this logger we will add this all the concatenated value so as we know that we we have like as we know that we have concatenate function right so in integration it provide function facilities also so in prev in next video i will explain you all about the function so for right now we will use concurrent function so here you can see that in right left side this is the function and in the function we have many functions like we have a string function we have conversion function advanced function date function mathematical function and all so in mathematical function you can see that we have abs ceiling floor round square root and all some function so here in a string function we have concrete function right so what we will do we will drag this concrete here and we know that in concrete function whatever parameter we will assign it will be merge all parameter so here first parameter will be high okay i will use first parameter as high and the second parameter will be the username so i will remove this and i will drag the parameter value over here so it will be something looking like that hi username and then i want to add the message so again i will select comma and i will use double quotes to insert the message so here we didn't use double quotes because this is the variable right it will replace with the value that's why we didn't use double quotes over here and now here inside these double quotes we will use this is my second integration with one parameter value okay now we have to click on that validate so here in concatenate function we have three values first high first parameter second parameter the actual parameter name and third parameter with the and again another value so just we have already validated just close and back just validate again and close so now our integration is completed for taking the parameter while running the from the user and displaying the parameter in the log message so this is the integration and we have completed this integration so now we have to save and we have to close this integration okay so here if you will see so we have one error message right it's above it's for enabling the trace variable right so so click on this icon select variable and select anything so i will select this parameter value okay you can select anything so just save and now we have to save and close so our integration is ready to activate so here i will activate my integration activate so it will take some time to activate it's seeing action in process so just refresh over here you will get the status yeah now it, it integration is activated just run on test so here you can see that it will ask one parameter to be entered because if you will see in earlier integration we don't have any parameter value but right now we have one parameter value as p name because we have added that parameter in integration so let me give this is a four and just test so here you can see that status is 20 to 200 okay it means that successfully completed here we have added four log logger components so it's all four local components over here it's reflecting so let me refresh again so that it can show the logger value so here you can see that it's reflecting first logger high second logger name the parameter value we assign zephyr and the third logger we send that this is my second integration with one parameter value okay and in fourth logger message we have concatenated all the values right so here you can see that it's showing that hi zephyr this is my second integration one with one parameter value so here you can see that using concatenate we can concatenate the value also so in this integration we learn how to use parameter runtime parameter so in next video i will show you how you can use parameter as a request body in request body okay so in next video i will not use this parameter i will use this body request right so that if anyone use will call this api call this integration they will pass parameter as a body okay so thank you so much for watching if you like this video don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much